Investors have been pricing in the likelihood that this payment would be missed since markets opened on Monday. Because while late last week there was still optimism of a deal, over the weekend the Greek government chose a different path. And the economy minister told CNN's Richard Quest they wouldn't pay. You're saying now you will not pay. There is not the money in Greece. Exactly. But when does a missed payment become a default? Well, experts in how the IMF works say that Greece is technically in arrears and that a default doesn't happen until the fund's board is formally told about the missed payment. And the IMF chief, Christine Lagarde, has already warned she won't waste any time. There is no grace period or two months delay as I have seen here and there. On July the 1st, payment's not been made. But she said that when there was no talk of a referendum. And pulling the plug on Greece before giving its people a vote in their future would be bad PR. Greeks are due to vote Sunday to accept or reject the Troika's proposals. But as it stands, there's nothing to vote on. The Troika has taken its proposals off the table. Now we're voting on something we really don't know what it is or what it could be. And it has become, therefore, a vote basically of a yes or no to being in the Eurozone. Assuming there is a vote and it's yes, expects the government to resign and a new administration to try to restore the status quo. But if it's a no vote, then others in Europe say that Greece is headed for the exit, even if Athens has threatened legal action to stay in the euro. It would be a currency crisis the world has never seen before. It is extremely difficult to change the currency, even in the best of times. We do not have any example of a country in peacetime that is changing its currency. It's a mess. That's an outcome neither side wants, and there are still backroom dealings designed to avoid it. Testing resolve, diplomacy, pragmatism and patience. Ty Genwright, CNN, London.